practiced and it has paid off. Congratulations on becoming a part of one of the most successful marching bands in the region, the East Mecklenburg Marching Eagles. This success is thanks to discipline and precision with the music, the drill, and the uniform. This video is designed to show you how to wear and care for your uniform. The pants, which are also called bibs or bibbers, first need to be adjusted by the shoulder strap so that the bibs are not too tight or too baggy through the torso. The pant length should be adjusted only after the shoulder straps have been adjusted. To adjust the hem length, have the student put on their band shoes. The bibs are easily altered with snaps at the side seams on the inside of the pant legs. Do not cut the fabric. Do not use iron-on hem tape. Do not use safety pins, adhesives, or a sewing machine. If you are not able to shorten the pants adequately with the snaps, you will have to hand sew the hem. Please see the East Mech Band website for instructions. Never, ever cut the pants, even though you may have a deep or bulky hem. Properly hemmed pants should just touch the top of the shoe. There should be no break or crease in the front of the pant leg. Properly hemmed pants will have a high water appearance. This is incorrect. Calf length socks are part of the uniform. Wear plain white socks with the white pants and plain black socks with the black pants. No other socks are acceptable. Under the uniform, all students are to wear white shorts and a white sleeved shirt. A t-shirt must always be worn under the uniform to protect the jacket from perspiration. Camisoles, tank tops, and other sleeveless shirts are not acceptable. The sleeves of the jacket can be adjusted with snaps in the same way as the pants. The hat, or shako, should be stored in its special box any time it is not being worn. All students must have all of their hair secured and completely under the hat. The hat should rest low over the forehead. When properly fitted, two fingertips should fit between the brim of the hat and the bridge of the nose. Uh, not so much. The uniform's specialty fabric has an anti-stain coating for performance wear. The bibs are machine washable. Always wash white pants with white laundry only, black pants with dark laundry. Wash on gentle cycle with cold water per manufacturer instructions. You may use any non-chlorine stain remover and a basic non-chlorine detergent, but do not use liquid fabric softener. This coats the uniform and interferes with the anti-stain and breathability of the fabric. Never use bleach products. This counteracts the anti-stain finish and damages the fabric. Air drying is recommended, but if using a dryer, use a very short cycle on a low setting. Remove when slightly damp and hang immediately. Jackets are dry clean only and should never be machine washed. Never press using a hot iron. A light steaming will be sufficient. Polyester scorches very easily. Use an old, plain white pillowcase to protect the fabric from scorching. The white uniform is worn to marching competitions. The black uniform is worn to football games. Finally, <laughs> Do not drink liquids with dye or juice in your uniform. Water only.